Hi, my name is Yuntong Wang, and these are my group members, Chao Zheng, Han Wang, and Chen Xikang. Today, we're going to do the presentation of introducing this valuable sofa chart and explaining its usage. We'll start with the description with my group mate, Chao Zheng. Hi, this is the sofa chart. So from the upside to downside, uh, you can see there are 13 different birds. At the first glance of this chart, uh, the sound of the bird singing could remind you the relations with the notes of the scale. By the way, the bird is a, a hand drawing. The picture uh, is nice and the paper is uh, becomes yellow because this collection is made in early 20th century. It's been uh, 100 years. Um, so so far chart is a pedagogical tool for uh, teaching set side seeing. There are many different kinds of sofa chart in the world. Rather than those printed charts, this one we are introducing is unique. It's only not only a delicate handicraft, but also the first of its kind made in Australia, uh, which has a great uh, historic value. Look at the picture of this uh, sofa chart. You can find every kind of bird represents a note of the scale, and there, uh, these birds are all hand uh, painted. The chart is beautiful and meaningful even now. This chart might be the first in history with the colorful illustration that many children to have interest with musical notes and walk toward them. It may even have influenced with the development of music in Australia. At the same time, this chart was created to represent Australia's biodiversity with the various colored birds on the chart, as well as showing the inclusiveness of different cultures. So we can say that this chart could represent historical and cultural Australia. And after the research, we are completely amazed by the exquisite drawing skills of the artist and the great wisdom and um, imagination of human beings who created this chart to teach students to sing. Also, at the same time, it is so fortunate to see that this old chart could be preserved in a museum in such a perfect condition, which in another way reflects its priceless value and historical status. Furthermore, as a music student, the invention of this chart had changed the inherent way of pronouncing musical notations and made our studies much more easy. So generally, we mentioned the history, usage, and the value of this sofa chart. And we are also looking forward to have a tour to the Uni Museum after coming back to campus. That is all, and that is the end of our presentation. Thank you.